hello and welcome back again to another video now in today's video i would like to um, answer a question that was raised by one of the uh, viewers in yesterday's video and the question is how to use the vst plugin that is available in the audio effects of only 0.1 so before we move on what is a vst vst is virtual studio technology which are plugins that can be used within a digital audio workstation in such programs like Pro Tools, Logic, and other uh, digital audio workstation or DAW. So with that in mind, let's go straight to Olive 0.1 and see how we can use that. So here in Olive 0.1, I have already created a sequence and just importing a video clip. So let's import or drag this video clip onto the timeline. And what we need is the audio. So we don't want the video. So let's unlink that and delete it. Or we can move the audio in and uh, let's cut it somewhere here and place it in here and also we can cut it here hey welcome back again to another day so into this okay now so let's select the audio clip so once you select the audio clip you can see that uh, it gets you to the uh, air effects for the audio effects here and here by default we have the volume and fan now if you click on the add effects of the audio you can see there's some others here tone and also the vst plugins too so let's select that and when we do that you can see the plugin and interface now here in the file there's nothing yet but you can see there are three ellipses here which indicating that we can uh, add a plugin into here now there's some great website that you can uh, set for to download the audio plugin or the vst audio plugins so simply in the in your sets engine type like uh, VST plugin for video editors and once you type that you will have some sets there to uh, select from so here I recommend that um, this block here it's the um, Accusionus uh, block which uh, recommending some of the areas that you can go to download this uh, some of the um, uh, VST plugins and also one of the nice website is this one what is the Tokyo Dawn Records? So this is a nice, uh, this is a nice website that you can download the um, the VST plugins from. And here you can see they have the um, pre version and the paid version. So you want to try it out? You can download the pre version. All of this from here down. There are some nice ones here. So simply what you do is click on this uh, pre version if you want to download the pre version. And when you go into that, you can see that uh, in the pre-download section, you have the window installer, Windows no installer, and Mac package. So here, no installer is the portable version. So I recommend that to download this one if you don't want to install it into your PC. But if you want to install, you can download this. So once you finish downloading, you can go straight to your download um, folder. And in the download folder, you can just simply unzip that to have that plugin so with that out of the way let's go back to only 0.1 so again here in olive we know where they um save the uh, plugins in so let's add one of the plugins so here so let's go here and click this ellipse here and uh, it's getting us to open the explorer so let's go straight to where we save the um, plugins so where i save my plugins in bst so i want to choose one of these ones so let me choose one of this okay let's go for this one so once you open this folder you can see that there are three folders inside okay so the one that we're going to use is vst2 because if you look at this it's a vst2 plugin so let's select that and when we open that uh, we go into we have two folders windows 32 and 64 so if you have 64 open 64 and this is the one so that's where we want to select this for our file and then click open and once we do that you can see it's already um added itself onto the or added itself or the plugins it's already available in all it now so you see the interface once you click the interface you have this nice uh, interface up and you can um use that now over here there's some default um, presets here you can try them out and um, using the um, knobs controls here uh, I've been using um, some of this in Pro Tools doing because of the work I'm doing. Hey, welcome back again to another day. So in today's video, we we'll look at how we can create this text effect as you can see on the screen. So we're going to do this using Olive 0 0.1. So in Olive 0 0.1 here, I have already created sequence and also importing a video onto the timeline. So what we need to do now is to add a title clip. 
So go to the add tool here and then click title and drag it on the timeline. Okay, so this is very handy. For example, if you are editing a video that someone is talking on the phone, you might use this uh, effect or plugin here to apply that effect to the part that you want to have someone talking on a phone. So we're going to do this using Olive Zero Point One. So go to the Add tool here and then click Title and drag it on the timeline. Uh, okay, so that's how we can use this. Um, I have not been using um, the digital workstation mods. I, I, I use uh, Pro Tools for recording and uh, doing some editing in my work, but um, not really much into digital workstation. So maybe some of you are good at it. Uh, you can try it out. And um, for example, if you are editing a video and you want some, uh, like I said already, like someone talking on a phone or something like that, someone talking in a loud uh, hailer or something like that, you can always use this plugin, find that something that is available and uh, you can edit here to use them. Okay, so that's all for this video and thank you for watching and if you have not subscribed to our channel, please do so and uh, we hope to see you all back again in another video. Thank you again and I'll see you on the next day.